And this frittata, what I'm going to do now is I put the dill. Dill goes a long way. Dill is one of those, you know, herbs that oh, it goes a long way, at least in my, in my book. Maybe not in yours, but in mine. Whew. So keep that in mind. I just used a little pinch in here, and I'm already, like, dilled. <laughs> I'm getting a little dilly right now, you know? I got the asparagus in there. I seasoned it with salt and pepper. Now what I'm going to do is add the eggs to the frittata. Yeah, a lot of asparagus. Why not? And then what I do, folks, as I said, I'm going to spot that cream cheese. <laughs> that looks really good and spotted, doesn't it? Could be a new Dalmatian. <laughs> now, what I like to do, now that I got the cream cheese thing going on, going to add a little salt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And fresh ground pepper. Because I don't know where you get your cream cheese, where I get mine, it don't come seasoned. <laughs> so we got now a little salt and pepper, but easy on the salt, because now what we're going to do is we're going to take the smoked salmon. There are all kinds of different types. This is a little Scottish smoked salmon, a little partial of that. And then we're just going to add a little bit of that smoked salmon. This is a two, uh, two process. I start it on the stove, and then as you can see, when it starts to cook, I use a rubber, rubber spatula like this, and I go down the sides. See, it's like a, an omelet right now, but that's not what I want. What I want is a frittata. I want to get some height. So what I'm going to do is, once it starts settling in there, I put the oven on 400 degrees, okay? Then we're going to finish it inside of the oven.